Yo, welcome back everybody to another part of the course. Today we're going to be talking about navigation and it is a little bit complicated but I'll do my very best to make it as fast and as understandable as possible. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. So we're going to be using a third party library that's very very popular, it's called React Router DOM. Now what this lets you do is it allows you to be able to have everything you need set up in the back end to allow your app to have navigation and display certain components whenever you go to certain routes. So the way to install this is firstly, I'm going to CD into my actual app and then I'm going to do npm install react-router-dom and I'm going to do at 6. So at the time of this recording, we're on uh, version number 6 of react router dom and now I'm going to let it work its magic. Cool, so now that we have it installed, let's go ahead and actually import all the stuff that we need. So I say this a lot, but we're going to be treating our app.js file as our main hub uh, where we're going to contain our uh, routes, all of our navbar and footer content. So inside of here is where we're going to be doing our routes. So I'll go ahead and do import curly braces link with the capital L, comma, browser router as router. Then we're going to import route. And we're also going to import routes from React Router DOM, like so. And I'm going to go ahead and save it. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a new folder. Inside of here is where all of our components are going to be hosted. So I'll call it components. And then I'll create a new file and I'll call it home.js. And I'll create another file and let's call it forms.js. So for these two, uh, I'm just going to go ahead and put some simple uh, functions, simple function returns. So right here I'll do uh, form, function form. And we're going to go ahead and do export default oops, form, like so. And I'll go ahead and copy this. Hello from form. There we go. Oops. Form. There we go. And inside of the home, I'm going to do the same thing, but replace this with home, like so. Let me go ahead and make it prettier with the prettier extension there we go and so now we're going to do is go back to our app.js file and then i'm going to go ahead and import all of our stuff so i'm going to do import home from dot slash components slash home dot js and i'll go ahead and do same thing here form like so perfect so now we have everything imported next what we're going to do is we are going to be uh, creating a function which is going to be using a ref and this ref is basically gonna, it's basically going to tell our app to go to a certain route. So thankfully, React Suite comes in handy where we can incorporate this library with React Router DOM. And they have a really cool snippet of code on how to work with this. So they have this uh, Navlik um, variable right here, which triggers a ref, which has a bunch of parameters inside of it, which basically at the end of it will render a link that has our ref, the area that it's going to be going to, so the slash route, and then the children. And this is basically what we're going to be needing to copy. And then I'm going to go ahead and import link from React Router DOM. I think I've already done it at the top. Uh, right there, perfect. And next I'm going to go ahead and get rid of this. And I'll go ahead and import it from React, like so. There we go. And then remember, there are some precautions with this. So beforehand um, in React, you could use something called uh, React DOM .find DOM node. Um, to be able to access the DOM node to make React Navigation work with this, but since then it's been deprecated, and so now it's all been replaced with ref, and in their words, when the component needs to be encapsulated, the ref needs to be passed to the encapsulated component through the dot forward ref, otherwise an error will occur, and I've had this error for like a solid half an hour, and I haven't been able to figure out why, um, but it's because I was using dot find node instead of forward ref. So now that we've used this, let's go ahead and actually implement this into some of our nav items. So it's going to be really simple. It's actually uh, a little bit different than what's displayed here. Well, it's actually exactly what's displayed here. I don't know why it's a little bit different. But um, so for our first nav item, our home page, I'm going to go ahead and give it a as is equal to nav link. And then I'm going to give it children. And so for the children, it's going to actually be targeting our um, component that we wanted to render. So in our case, we're going to be rendering the home component with the self-closing brace. And then after that, I'm going to do href is equal to a empty slash. So it just goes there. 
Now, obviously, this won't work. So if I actually go into the app, uh, we're going to see that it's going to error out. It's going to say, um, cannot read the following path name because it just doesn't work right now. So after that, what we have to do is we have to go inside of our content and then we have to go ahead and render everything. Oops. So inside of the content, I'm going to get rid of the hello world. Yeah, there we go. And inside of here is where we're going to be rendering all of our routes. So firstly, how React Router DOM works is that you need to first encapsulate routes. And inside of the routes, you can then add an individual route, which displays a component. So then I'll do route with a self-closing brace. And then inside of here, I'm going to give it exact. So initially, I wanted to go to slash home. So the path is equal to slash, like so, in strings, and then element. Uh, the element that we're going to be rendering is going to be the home element, like so. Now, ideally, you would actually do component instead of element, but uh, for some reason, it just doesn't work with that. Alrighty, so now we have another error that says use href must be only used in a context of a router component. So we didn't actually even give it our browser router that we uh, initially um, imported. So let's go ahead and import that. So at the very top of my return, I'm going to go ahead and do router and then encapsulate literally everything inside of it. So at the very bottom right here, I'll put it right there. And then I'm just going to make it prettier. And now you can see that we have it rendered our home page right there. And we know this is proper. So hello FDS, hello FDS. That's the proper home page. So if I click on home, it'll go exactly where we want. I think, uh, yep, yep, that should be fine. And so now let's go ahead and actually add our form.js to be um, a different component. So same thing, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and copy this stuff and I'll just go ahead and paste it inside of this nav item. And for this one, I'll do form and we're gonna do slash form and then underneath everything, where's our content? Yeah, 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 yeah. There's our content, there we go. So I'm gonna go ahead and copy this route. And then I'm just gonna go ahead and replace the path to go to form. And the element that we're rendering will be form like so. Let me go ahead and also edit the name. This makes no sense. Um, where is it? There we go, so form. And now if I click it, we see hello from form. Perfect, so now we're going to use two different components uh, using React Router DOM. In the next video, we'll be learning about how to work with the form components since it was a suggestion and I think it was a pretty good suggestion that we work with it. Perfect. So that concludes this course uh, video. In the next one, we'll be learning about how to work with form, like I said earlier. And if you did enjoy this, be sure to like and subscribe and I'll see you on the next one. Peace.